Hello, Mioni here, and today I have yet another housing glitch placement video. There are two others I've done guides on, and links to those are in the description or on my channel as usual. But this third video is one that recently made the rounds from a Japanese blog site. It's taken a while for people to figure it out, and with a little time on my hands I decided to give it a go myself. So in short, this glitch allows you to fool the system into placing items on walls that aren't wall placement items, and uses a similar glitch to the storage placement glitch we used in the last video. For this you will need to bind two keybinds. Firstly, the subcommands keybind. I bound this in this case to numpad 5. You can access this by simply pressing escape in game and going to keybinds. You will also have to bind the confirmation command. If you are on a PS4, you can just use the square button for this for subcommands and placement as default, of course. But on PC, you will need to bind both subcommands and the confirm command to a key. My confirm is set to numpad 0 here. In short, you will need to ensure you have A, an item you want to place. Let's use a familiar example, the troop stage, something normally very difficult to place anywhere but on floors. We need to ensure that we make note of which number down the list of storage items in the All tab the stage actually is. In this case, my stage is the third item down on the list, count it 1, 2, 3. We go to the Wall Mounted section now, this is another tab, and choose to place the third item down on the list on this page, which happens to be a wall chronometer on this list. It can be anything. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's the same number down the wall mounted list here as the item we want to place as number from the All tab list on the storage menu. This glitch can be used to place items in line with either the low border here, or the tops and bottoms of windows, or other wall features on your house such as doors or door frames. For this example, we are using the window. Make sure you position yourself so your character is looking the direction of the wall we want to place the item. Then click on that item, the wall chronometer in my case, on that list. It will be in the floor like this. Use the movement selection to pick up and drag this wall item above the window here, but make sure it's just on the edge of where it's purple and turns to orange. You can use the snap to grid button to make this much easier so it will stay where you can place it just before it turns purple. Now, instead of clicking your mouse to simply place the clock, you hover over where you're going to place it with your mouse, and instead use the subcommand keybind we set up. In this case, we set that to numpad 5. Then, press your confirm command we set up. In my case, I set it to numpad 0, if you remember. Because we use the subcommands instead of clicking it to simply place the item, it actually glitches out, and instead places whatever is the corresponding number on the All tab in storage, instead of the same numbered item in the Wall Placement List tab. In this case, placing a troop stage in the wall just above the window, instead of the chronometer. If it's not how you like it, you can't move it around from this position without replacing it and starting again from your storage menu. However, you can rotate it around to your heart's desire, and can even snap it to any fixed angle with the snap to grid function on, or however you like at any angle with snap turned off. So, to refresh, bind subcommands and confirm command to a keybind. Make sure the item you want to place on the wall area is the same number as the wall placement tab item number. Place the wall item, use the subcommand instead of the normal click to place with your mouse, and boom, magic happens. It's a very simple trick once you know how, and can really add a great deal of fun to housing. We can use multiple troop stages to make an upstairs for example. Combine this with my previous two videos, and you can literally do anything you want. Making stairs to a secret bed area, make bunk beds, attics, and you name it. The possibilities, as I always say on these videos, are only limited by your own imagination. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to throw them down below, and I'll attempt to answer them to the best of my abilities. Thank you kindly for watching this, and I'll see you all next time.